we are. Say hi, guys. Hello. We're about 0.8 miles Hello. into mile one. <laughs> Roger's already lost his mind. <laughs> Greg had to move to the back because he's got bad gas. Yeah, it's true. <laughs> Woo! Here we are about, I don't know, three miles in. First waterfall out of a little detour down there, crossing this creek. We missed the bridge. <laughs> we hope we're on the right trail. Anyways, yes. Back to go, it. Go, 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 go. About four miles into the Robinson Creek Trail. It's been a little bit of bushwhacking. Has pretty much been it for the past four miles. Here's some more. Makes hiking, makes hiking a little harder when you can't see the trail. Are we there yet? Almost there. Hi. How am I looking? You look awesome. You look awesome. You've got that trick and pull like thing I'm on, down. I'm men in black. Or no, that's not men in black. Here we are. We just passed the turn off. Point of no return. Is that two way here? Nope. That, that doesn't get you anywhere, Roger, that trail back there. We're almost to camp. Somewhere. As soon as... Don't worry about me. Roger, you wouldn't leave us? We're at the top of Robinson Pass, 6,250 ish feet. Now we're just going to be hunting for water and a place to camp. And there's deer track, finally, the first sign of wild game. I haven't seen anything but a grouse, one of the grouse babies, and, and two snakes. Terp saw two snakes. <laughs> Roger, how you feeling, buddy? I, I am like <laughs> ready for another five miles. Yeah, it's easy day. So what you're saying is we had to stop because Greg couldn't take anymore? <laughs> I, whatever. Greg? Uh, this is too tough for me. Oh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna man. Sneak in Roger's pack tomorrow. <laughs> oh. oh, all right. This... Ladies and gentlemen, is where we're setting up camp. It is not the greatest. We're on a hillside. That's exciting. But it's uh it should we should get a deer. Rogers and Terp are all in on the TV show alone. Yeah. And I'm gonna go after squirrels. We're gonna cook some squirrel tonight. I'm gonna drink my own urine. <laughs> If you're a real man, you'd drink mine. I was debating that. <laughs> All right, this is it. 12.27 miles today. Uh, like 4,000, just shy of 4,000 feet of incline. We had to stop here because we need water and there's a little creek. And uh, this is about as good of a spot we've been side hilling. For like all 12 miles so there you have it we'll report back well here we are camp Better set up. day one here we go terp's got his little camp with his nemo what is that one is that a hornet, hornet or hornet nino hornet nice tent his bear can slash chair there's the duplex Bob and Roger brought luxury to another level with our recliners. <laughs> Roger's tucked away in the trees over here with his little one person. Nemo. What the heck is that one? 
Finding Nemo? No, it's a tent. What the heck? That your tent is a, a dragonfly. Nemo dragonfly. Yep. Correct. Yep. Right yes. on. Thank you. We've washed our socks out in the little creek. Here's hey, a little creek. Can you show me that pad? It's my little floor mat. This is his ass pad. Or welcome mat yeah, at his my tent. Welcome mat. Hey, thanks. You bet. Here's our creek. It's our water source. There we are. What am I supposed to say, Roger? Over and out. Well, here we are, 6.45 a.m. Monday morning. Everybody's feeling great. Terps having chicken and dumplings for <laughs> breakfast. Just made sense. Roger, Roger just had coffee and a cliff bar. I had some oatmeal. We're packing up. Those two are overachievers. Roger's already all packed. Terps getting close. I'm quite a ways behind them. We're all sore. We slept fine. No bears that we know of. <laughs> that no. we know of. Yeah. Over and Well, up. here we are. Getting ready to take off Greg's filtering water. I'm not sure what Roger's doing over there. He was hugging a tree earlier. Yeah. Roger found a nice, quiet place in the uh, woods to relax this morning. How'd that go, Roger? What? I was just... <laughs> we were talking about your alone time. Oh, it was very relaxing. Oh, yeah. I, uh... Looked at the news on my phone. <laughs> it's pretty fun. Yeah. We're probably uh, five minutes from takeoff. I was in the squatting position. <laughs> my claws were burning up. Over and out. <laughs> Off. Morning number two. I think 7.30 we got kickoff. We're not sure how the camp's going to go today. If uh, we're going to go simple eight miles or more like 12 again, depending on campsites. It's turning out that campsites are harder to find where we can set up three tents and have uh, some sort of water source. Well, we'll find out. So, we ran into a hiker. Actually, we've only seen two people since we left the car. Uh, both this morning. We asked the second guy, younger guy, probably mid-twenties, how the trails were, which route he took. And he cautioned us off doing the trail that we are planning on doing. He went up and around. He recommended we take an alternate route and do go the way he went. Uh, would add about 15, 16 miles. So we haven't 100% decided what we're gonna do just yet, but we may be in for some bushwhacking to get us back to the PCT second half of today and tomorrow morning we'll see everybody seems to be doing well health wise Roger's got a blister we've got a tight Achilles Greg's an animal he's doing fine bad attitude though Greg's, bad. Greg's got a very bad attitude
Who, me? No, the bridge. Oh. It is really buggy out here. Flies everywhere trying to bite you. It just keeps on coming. Well, it's been mass chaos today. We made it. We bushwhacked. Uh, I think that gives bushwhacking a good name. We do not want to do it again. Roger, did you have fun? Yeah, it was trouble. We only made it four miles. We got another four or so to do of bushwhacking tomorrow morning. But we had to call it quits, 11 hours and 14 miles today. There's our tent set up. We had to make do, not a very good tenting location. Greg's out in the middle of the Thule's. Roger and I are both in the middle of the trail. We just had to find a wide spot in the trail. Across that bridge is where we were hanging our food. Keep the bears away. Well, we got another four miles tomorrow. Well, camp, morning, day three. three. Hey. It was a long night. None of us really slept all that great. We got three to four miles more bushwhacking. Uh, easy piece of cake Greg says Roger and I aren't so oh. sure we're about a quarter of a mile from the PCT it's been a rough morning I mean a few falls climbing over trees lots and lots of trees but uh we're gonna break for lunch at the PCT. It's like 12.15. Roger's got some blisters. So he's taking it a little slow. Um, yeah. So I'll report back at camp. That is the West Fork Pesaton River Trail that uh, Roger has nicknamed the West Fork Satan Trail. Coincidentally, it's right above Devil's Pass. So, 
We finally just made it to the PCT. We are at the intersection. It is bug central here. Roger's got to do a little bit of footwork. Got to take care of the feet. There's the trail up towards Canada. We're going to be heading that way. We hear that it is uh, passable. So we're looking forward to yeah, keeping know. our feet on the ground. PCT! <laughs> right on! Just stopped for lunch. Took about an hour. Doctored up some wounds. Now we're gonna try and make it another four and a half miles or so to a camp. Um, another like 10 tomorrow. Over and out. Here we are. Day four. About three quarters of miles out from camp. Filtering water. Feeling good. Feeling good. Powering on. Howdy. How's Not too bad. How are you? Good. You guys have some water? No, we were doing another hike. We came in from uh, the east side. Well, we, uh, we found a trail angel, Sandra. Nice lady from... Winthrop, no, Okanagan. She's gonna, she's parked at Hearts Pass. She's gonna give us a ride down. She's even gonna wait for us because Roger's nursing his foot. I think this is Jim Pass or something like that. It's up here, boy. He just came from down there. I think we're getting close to the top. This is the top of the pass. Whew. Looking on a ridge. It's hot, I'm sweating. I don't smell that good.
Okay. And they go for a week. Oh, wow. And they have cabins. In what and, grade? And they stay, and then they do, yeah, they have little different workshops where they, they do a math and compass thing. And, yeah, so I'm so glad that's happening for kids. Well, I, the other... Here's uh, Terp, and here's our trail angel that's going to give us a ride down. Her name is Sandra. <laughs> we were... God was looking out for us today. Really? Yeah. I was just remembering being up here when I my first child was born. I'm like, I don't want to stop biking. And so he was a born in April, April, May, June, July. Anyway, I didn't really have a they have all these fancy packs now, but I had like a little seat harness day pack. Shove that inside the top of my backpack. You know, put my uh back underneath my husband has a tent and everything we came up here yeah it was really foggy and so along this part all you could see was the trail so Sandra just went down to start the car we're probably a quarter of a mile this is a little trail break intersection waiting for Roger and Terp to come down the trail but we're kind of at the top of Hearts Pass beautiful spot not quite as buggy when you get up to the top of the passes and the breeze is blowing a little bit. You're here! You're an animal! You can see Baker from here. Where's the, where's the car? Turn left here. Right down this trail. Left? No, right here. You made Yeah. Nice work. Woo! I guess I'm third. <laughs> <laughs> Three.